I've had Horst for close to four years. He is a five-year-old German Shepherd. He has been on two tours in Iraq with me, and he has been my first and the only military working dog I've ever handled. Sergeant Thomas Gehring and Horst are just one team in Marine Corps Base Camp Pendleton's K-9 unit. This extension of Military Police Company is a unique but critical part of the Marine Corps' arsenal. We have a bunch of different jobs as dog handlers. We use also drug dogs. We also support off-base and on-base for bomb calls. If there's missing people, missing children, we respond to those, help out, get the dogs, help try to track them, find the people. Yeah, I mean, then the dogs are just out there on patrol, physical deterrent. Uh, psychological deterrent, someone's not compliant or someone's uh, running away or someone has actually fled from the police and they're off hiding in the woods or whatever, we go out there with a the dog, the dog can find them. So that right there, we give a warning order, hey, you come out right now, I'm sending the dog in. Someone, a lot of people hear that, they're like, you know, I don't want to get bit by a dog, so they're going to come out. Sergeant Gehring and Horst are an alternative to deadly force. So they're what's called the five phases of aggression. Five phases is uh, basically any circumstance we'll encounter out in the real world where we'll go he will have to apprehend a suspect. So why don't you want to talk to me real quick? No, screw you. <laughs> hey, come here right now. Come here right now. Hold on, I'll some dog. We'll have to stay calm around a suspect that's not aggressive. He'll have to out on command. He'll have to stop biting on command. Uh, he'll have to do a standoff, which is where you saw where we send the dog and if the suspect gives up, he, he can't bite him, so the dog doesn't bite him. And also we went into a little bit more of the vehicle bites, extraction, vehicle extractions. Optical extraction, we're send them over the hood. That's all things where you don't know what situation you're going to have to use your dog in, so it's best to be prepared for everything. Horse life on Camp Pendleton is similar to a Marine's. He starts his day with some exercise and spends the rest of the day in his office or in the field training. A typical day starts off about uh, 05, we'll come in for PT. After that, we'll come in and do kennel care. We'll clean all the runs, feed the dogs. Do our grooming checks, make sure the dogs are okay, they got their food. Give the dogs about an hour after they eat so they don't get bloat. And take the dogs out, we train. We go out and we go to different areas around the base. We'll do either patrol work where we do a lot of bite work and aggression. Or we'll do detection training where we actually pull our explosive kit and we go out and we have the dogs find bombs. Keeping the skills of the dog team up so when we are utilized, when we do get to a car, we go on deployments, the dogs are at their highest proficiency. Marine and canine duos assume a vital role while deployed in support of the global war on terrorism. In the field, our primary job is uh, detection of explosives, uh, detection of IEDs, caches, anything that's out there to hurt Americans in country, we're out there to find. The United States Armed Forces have employed handler K-19 teams in several wars and conflicts. The military working dog program originally started in World War I with messenger dogs and it progressed into World War II where they started using the same messenger dogs and everything. Vietnam is when it really started to change. They started bringing the sentry dog program. They started using uh, different types of breeds, like they experimented with Rottweilers and Dobermans and German Shepherds. Eventually the German, German Shepherds stuck, the Rottweiler and Doberman, we don't use them anymore. We also got away from the sentry dog program and got more to the dual purpose, which is the, uh, uh, the aggression dogs, the protective service dogs, and the detector dogs. So it's both, both types of dogs in one. And that's what we use today as a dual purpose detector dogs. The Camp Pendleton Kennels display several symbols of pride and remembrance, including a military working dog memorial and a tribute to a fellow handler who lost his life while serving in Iraq. Horst and his four-legged brothers and sisters have the same mentality that Marines are known for. There's also a level of aggression with these dogs. These dogs are bred, you know, in part for their aggression, for their, for the wanting the bite to protect their handler. And that's the loyalty and obedience that we have. I can go out anywhere and if someone attacks me, whether it's anybody, my dog's going to defend me because I'm his dad. And he's going to do everything in his power to keep me safe. My dog is my partner. He's not just my dog or my pet, he's my partner. Reporting from Marine Corps Base Camp Pendleton, I'm Lance Corporal Stephanie Ingersoll.